While research is still discovering new interesting planets or studying the movements of meteors almost every month, some basic questions about the universe are still of greater interest to researchers. After all, science knows little about the origin, composition, or evolution of the universe. All knowledge, and thus the basis for current research, is based on assumptions that researchers either want to confirm or refute. But what are the really big questions and mysteries surrounding the universe? What are the questions about our existence that Astro Research is currently dealing with? If you like our videos, please support us with a thumbs up, subscribe to Simply Space, and look forward to the videos that will be waiting for you in the future. Let's begin our journey through the vastness of the universe. The Dark Secret of the Universe Fans of science fiction works certainly know them, but the term is also otherwise an important object of pop culture. Antimatter. Sometimes called dark matter, it serves as a powerful energy source in Star Wars and Star Trek, for example. This is by no means a work of an author's fantasy, but a realistic creation from the laws of nature. While every atom, neutron, neutrino, and quark is known, there is also a part about which we know almost nothing. This is because every small particle that makes up the world has a counterpart. Antimatter is created together with the atoms and neutrons. At least, that's what the calculations say. But it seems almost impossible to find these dark partners of the known building blocks of the universe. So, while research is certain that antimatter must exist, it has its difficulties in proving it. Of course, there is the theory that it is somewhere in space, but based on calculations, this is implausible. Instead, researchers are asking themselves whether the early days of the universe may have caused an event. When matter and antimatter meet, this can unleash a powerful unfolding of energy and power. What if at some point a singular event occurred in which matter took over and displaced antimatter. It could have been the beginning of the universe. Only there's no way to prove it, and research can't be based on maybe. The existence of matter is one of the foundations for research into the laws of nature. Therefore, we will continue to try to either prove the existence of antimatter or find an explanation why it can no longer be found easily today while actual matter still surrounds us at every moment and with every heartbeat. What does the universe base itself on? The question about the components of the universe is almost philosophical, and like almost all major questions about the universe, can only be answered on a theoretical level. Although researchers have now discovered countless planets, moons, and stars, as well as various gases and special features, and while we know that there is matter, because among other things, the Earth is made up of matter, we continue to wonder how big its share is in the universe. Exactly at this point, dark matter comes into play yet again. In the theoretical considerations, matter takes up only a very small part of the universe. It is the remnant of what was created during the Big Bang. Originating from the Big Bang, and the hundreds of thousands of years of 100 billion degrees, they are verifiable traces. But this is exactly where the point ends that can still be proven in research. We now know, or suspect, that the universe is expanding further. The reason for this could be the so-called dark energy. It has not yet been proven, but its existence plays an important role in the theoretical considerations of research. There is a fixed portion of contracting dark energy and expanding dark energy. These components are responsible for the growth of galaxies as well as for the fact that the universe continues to expand. Dark matter is said to make up up to 70% of the universe. Now researchers are trying to prove this very fact. Is the universe aligned with the existence of our life? Since the beginning of the existence of our species, 
people seem to look up to the sky and wonder why they are here. Philosophical questions such as those about the meaning of life or deep existential crises in the theory that there must be life somewhere else dominate the discourse. Researchers are still not sure how it is that humans came into being. Are we the product of the laws of nature? Or are humans much more the result of a multitude of cosmic coincidences and a pure product of luck? Or are there certain conditions in the universe that allow life in other corners as well? While it would be an almost arrogant assumption that we are the only intelligent beings in the vastness of space, there are many models that assume just that. This begins with the fact that the existence of planets, stars, and galaxies seems to be a pure coincidence. Based on various models, the smallest parameter changes would have been enough to prevent the universe from coming into being in its present form. At the same time, the development of humans themselves is also solely due to a series of coincidences. If there had not been impacts from meteors, the dinosaurs would never have become extinct. If the Earth had not collided with another planet in the beginning, there would not have been enough water for the development of life. The most varied conditions for the development of life were thus based on pure cosmic accidents and coincidences. There, the assumption is justified that there are no further coincidences of this kind. Researchers around the world are constantly developing new models of how the universe and life on Earth came into being. Perhaps there are similar cosmic coincidences and accidents somewhere else in the universe. But some people will have to come to terms with the idea that we are alone and only the product of accidents. In any case, there seem to be no fixed parameters for the origin of life in the universe. Could parallel universes be physically real? The thought that there could be a world where the unsuccessful favorite soccer club is successful, or where peace instead of war is the norm, or people have chosen salami instead of cheese on their breakfast bread in the morning, has always fascinated people. What if there are universes in which exactly the opposite of what is happening on Earth is simultaneously occurring? In which there is an opposite version of ourselves that leads a completely different and yet identical life? The subject of parallel universes has always been a classic of science fiction, and thus, of course, part of modern research. The question is whether the laws of physics would allow such a universe to exist. The answer to this question is, maybe. In order to consider the possibility, one must first take a look at how the universe was created. After the Big Bang, the universe seemed to expand in an unbelievable inflation and still does today. For example, it is possible for researchers to travel back in time to a certain point in time, at least as far as the view of ancient galaxies is concerned. At the same time, the universe continues to grow and the more galaxies will forever elude humanity's gaze because it is physically impossible to discover them in any form. This brings with it the theory that there are also universes in which the laws of nature no longer behave as we know them. What about those universes in which expansion has already ended and which are in a different ground state than our solar system? They are highly theoretical models and considerations, and of course we are far from any proof. Maybe there could be parallel universes, or maybe not. What happened before the Big Bang? About 13.8 billion years ago, the universe is said to have been created with a Big Bang. The Big Bang Theory, not the television series, is said to have been the starting signal for all cosmic events and developments. From that moment on, the universe expanded and still does today. But what actually happened before this mystical zero hour? What was before the Big Bang? Of course, we are once again moving on to a philosophical level, which can only be partially proven or even brought here by the explanations of natural science. The analysis of the different possibilities is the task of theoretical physicists. The problem is that it already seems impossible to find out much about the zero second of the universe. So it seems all the more difficult to look into the time before zero second. 
It is well known that in the proverbial second after the Big Bang, a process of rapid cooling began, and the first galaxies were formed. Now there are various theories about what the universe was before the Big Bang. Some believe that it was simply an ultra-hot mass that then imploded within itself. Others believe that we were created from the remnants of another universe. Still, other theories assume that there are infinite Big Bangs as the universe expands and contracts again. It is unsure whether we will ever be certain of this question. The universe is a huge mystery for researchers and for the people who live on Earth. There will certainly be several new discoveries in the coming years. However, it is doubtful whether these fundamental questions of our existence can ever be answered. <laughs>